So here I've got three examples of putting ribs into my new canoe. Here's the first one. It's an ash rib that was steaming for about 16 minutes and I'm pulling up from two positions and the goal is to clamp that keel as a starting point. Then I'll work on one side and I'll push in with my right hand and pull up with my left. And as I push in with my left hand, I'm also pushing up. So I clamp the bottom there, I come around the, bottom, the front. And same on the other side, I push in and push up as I pull up with my hand. And we're gonna get some clamps on the gunnel first so that the basic shape is correct. Making sure it's lined up with where the rib is supposed to be. There's a little zoom in of a shim going in, which holds that uh, rib a little further away from the gunnel. That's because later, the tight curve, it will want to spring back a little bit. And that extra shim kind of overbends it a little bit. So now I'll go back to the far side and I need to put the shim in on that side as well. And again, uh, well, a few extra clamps first, but we're gonna overbend that bottom one because it's quite a severe bend there and we want to overbend it so that we can overcome the effects of spring back. So here comes the second shim. And then we dry it all, we let it just sit here overnight. And later we will uh, clamp it all again with epoxy between each, each joint. So this is just to establish the shape. And the wood is wet, of course. We need to let it dry out so that that epoxy really works. Here comes number two. I think this is the center station, so it's the big one. Again, this is a good angle because you're gonna see two positions to push up. We don't want a severe bend right in the middle there. We want a nice easy curve. And so now we'll clamp that keel. There it is. And then this is a good shot here, pushing in and up with the right hand and pulling with the left hand up into that corner. And we'll throw a clamp on that once we get there. Again, this wood soaked for about 16 minutes. Not soaked, steamed. I did soak it for about four days in a cistern first to make sure it was saturated. So now I'll run around the far side, do the same thing again. So I'm gonna push in on the bottom, pull up with my right hand, and uh, trying to uh, try to move the point at which I bend it at different times, otherwise I might get a kink. I almost got one right there. I almost got a kink or, uh, or more severe bend. So I'm gonna try and spread the load a little bit and get it bending in other spots. I think I'm gonna bend it a little higher in a second. There's, there I'm gonna try and get that into the corner there. I'm pushing with my thumb to make sure it doesn't bend too severely in that one spot. And I'll put a, some clamps on it. And then I'll have to come back and get the, uh, the extra shims in. So uh, you can see the shim sitting in the middle there, ready to go on my strong back. So now that it's basically in place, I'll grab a shim, unclamp the bottom and bend it a little more. So here comes the overbend. And there's the shim that will hold it in that position. And once that dries, it'll spring back a little bit, but it'll, it'll be more of a natural position uh, where I want it to land. And here's the far side. So we're almost done uh, rib number two here. And I've got one more for you. Now we take out those shims for the epoxy time. But uh, this wood is very wet, so we do need to let it dry to make sure that epoxy works well. Here's the last one. You'll notice there's a green piece of tape on the end of that um, rib because I realized there was a weak point I wanted to avoid when I started bending. So here I am pulling up, bending it in. Get that one, get that first clamp on in the middle. And there it comes. And you'll notice I've got a rope there tying in that half rib to make sure it holds in the proper position. And that's so that my rib ends up uh, in the correct position. And there's gonna be some pressure against that half rib, hence the rope. So you'll notice I almost got a, a bend there, a kink, not a kink, but a, a severe bend. And so I'm trying to spread out that bend so that the, it's a gradual arc. And again, we'll put a clamp on here.
So we're not, yeah, we're not using shims here because it's more of a gradual bend. You can look down the boat and see how there's a more severe bend towards the center of the boat, but this one's not as bad. I guess I could have shimmed it, but now I'm using a couple of clamp bits from GA Boats. Great little product. Just heavy duty wire that's bent into a loop, and that is a great way to hold together two pieces of wood. There, I'm giving it a little extra bend there. And then I'll go around and do the same thing to the other side. Thanks for watching.